Yeah. Mm. I think Pot Lounge would be a way better game. Yeah, I think so. I think it would be really fun. Never played it, but I think it would be fun. Then you could play really deep Pot Lounge. Yeah, there. for sure, you could. You can't just shovel aces. It's a great point. The. Titan Hold'em is very similar to PLO. A post flop would be an improvement, I think. Hmm? Pot limit? I think even making it pot limit pre flop and no limit post flop would still be an improvement. Ah. Uh, but 85. pot limit all the way around, I think, would be the best. 85? Uh, we got some big hands here. Yeah, I agree with both of those. Yeah. yeah, you said that last time in Montenegro. Yeah. It would be nice. Tchaikovsky with Tom's the pieces. Tom's more hands than anybody, and he, th he thinks that'd be a good way to play. Mm. These are the three weakest positions to raise from on the table. This is the button versus small blind and a big blind, so the small blind is going to re-raise a lot before the flop, be the because the button is going to open a lot, and this is going through Nietzsche's hand, yeah, head first, as well. The first oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. few hours they play, they might think they like it less, but long term they'd like it more. They get to see more flops. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just because the first, you know, first two or three big hands they complain, and so no one's like taking the small pain for the long term game, you know? Yeah. Because you'd, you'd need someone to be like, no, no, trust me, it's worth it. It's uh, worth it. It's pretty easy. 230,000. You just need someone to explain. Four better pitching. Yeah, I feel like you could do that and everyone would go for it. This is the dream scenario when you have aces. You're so focused on getting the most money from the button, and all of a sudden a big line comes along. Majikowski on the side. She wants to go all in. Or if she's gonna slow play this, there's merit to both. If you slow play, you win more from bluffs. Yes. Oh, oh lighter. If you play it fast, you win more from hands like ace-king or versus queens, for instance, if the board comes ace or king high. You going to Sochi? You don't have stop block. Here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know yet. I don't have a vision. Not the hard oh. jet, right? Not hard. But... They can help you here. Yeah. Yeah, they sent me a message to tell people that, that they have somebody here in Korea that could help. You have to have flight details already when you apply it or no? No, I don't think so. I guess I just get the visa even mm -hmm. if I... Yeah. Wow. If I... Aces? I knew there was fucking... I, I'm yeah. so sure that Massive spot. Huge. What a setup mm -hmm. here for Nietzsche. Are we allowed to run it more than once? Paul! Oh, Such a oh, good wait, wait. Can they run it twice? Can they run it twice? Yes. Yeah. Run it twice. Go ahead. Two, bo two boards. Two million dollar pot. Wait, make sure they agree. Two boards. You agree? Twice? Yeah. Let's go. They both agree, whatever they want. Twice. Let's see the first flop. You look great. He's a three oh, for a tie. Bajikowski always smiling. It's a six. First pot goes to Bajikowski. Oh, uh, yeah. Right under. He's at least breaking even this pot. Fine, yeah. It's uh, no no, hard no, full board. Full board. Don't burn. Two more cards. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. No, just two, two more. more. Two more. Two more there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, one yeah. more. One more. One more. One more card. Right there. Yeah. There you go. Now burn one. Okay. Old tens are alive, huh? That was like a short deck already. All right. 
So, Vesikowski wins both runs. Chips. Two million Chips. dollar pause. <laughs> Nietzsche instantly rebounds. <laughs> There's very little Dominic could have done there. These are just the positions that are the most aggressive in re raising on the table. Uh, all on three for sure. Well. Yeah, two billion pot. That's the biggest pot of the night. Of course. Aces versus ace king suited, small one versus big one against Button. Second bullets. Mm -hmm. Are you going to Yeah, at least you can say you played a two billion spot. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. 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 Jason has also you played two billion spots. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's not he's 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 there. Yeah. 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 What did he feel when he's you... Again, but I don't when know where he which way to go. River and got snap called. <laughs> what is it like? Uh, that sucked. I felt very sad. I felt very fucking sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Dominic is so hungry after that one. That is really rough. That's mm -hmm. a very aggressive player, especially from the blinds. There's no way to avoid that hand. Six, 16. There's 16,000 from Antonius. Paul by Greenwoods. The big blinds. It's a great flop for Patrick. It's the end of that one. We have what seen some incredible thoughts. Yeah. Good tournaments there, Sochi. Good tournaments in Sochi. A lot of have, Russian, uh, Russian uh, fish. Titled high rollers. Is that a view? Is that a? He's not allowed. He's not allowed. He's not allowed. He's not allowed. 100k. Rebuy. Come on. He's trying to yeah. put the double straight along for Tom. We did get like one hand that was 6, 12, 24 tonight. Yeah. Only one? Only one. I mean, too early in the game. Too early, too late. Wow. <laughs> of course, race oh, sizes are going to go up. The most <laughs> That's the saying, I bet you regret not straddling now. How much is it? I think that's true. Straddle always has an option still, so it's different than raising blinds. It just acts like another blind. Just a, another bigger blind. But so I'm gonna make it $40,000 here. And people usually play more aggressive with straddles because there's more dead money being posted. So there's more to gain from raising. Sick, like an open, open raise to forty thousand dollars US. I know it will be fed an issue. Never fold. <laughs> Never fold my straddle. Back on like five ten default high stakes no one. <laughs> so Elton Flop strongest. His force is still out ahead. It's the overcars running straight and flush draws. Doesn't matter. It's really nice to have the chance to improve your hand on the turn. Even if it's just to do the clubs, it's still much better potential than when you have a hand like Ace, Queen of Diamonds here.
Also, I'm gonna check call a bet of 70,000. This is an interesting turn. Both players with a flush draw now. Tom with a nut flush draw, but Elton also gains a straight draw. He's gonna assume that 7 and a 2 are both good, and he fires at it. We see these really unconventional, aggressive plays from Elton Sang. They're both awesome to watch, and they really throw a curveball at people. Check for a club. Elton is so tough to play. Wow. All in from Tom. Tom is not having it. Excellent read. What a huge decision here. Last time he was the one putting his opponent to the test. So an incredible read from Tom. I'm going to kick himself for betting here. This man has ice in his veins. $75,000 bet. Now we know that Elton has 71% to win this hand. Can he figure that out? A big part of Elton's thought process here is going to be would Tom shove flush here? Force against Ace High, you're not wrong there, Jason. I don't know what he has. You might have pocket 777 seven or Clubber. I wanted to keep out of it. Maybe I was ahead. Huh? Maybe I was ahead. I have the pocket <laughs> force to pose. Yeah, I guess. One more. Are you ahead? No. Okay. <laughs> oh. You were not ahead? Oh, man. Oh, we... Get full, get off full. Get 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 Ace of Clubs Jack or something? Last on the, oh, nice. Last on the nice hand. Well played. That was a great move by Tom. And another hand that might oh. go through Elton's head. Wow. Crushing it at the start and now at the yeah. receiving end of some painful thoughts. Yeah. Spots get so massive when there's straddles like that. 
Straddling can definitely be a useful tool, if a lot of people do it at least. It can definitely be a useful tool to uh, to make people more uncomfortable. If you're more used to action than them, to blow up the game a little bit. It also can really spice the game up if the action is too slow. It can definitely be a very strategic thing to suggest or to start implementing. Tom Duano with a $12,000 straddle. $12,000 straddle! Tony's with the 30,000 raise. We were gonna make the call, Ajax suited. Some strong hands out there. See so Jason Kuhn take the aggressive approach to a lot of these hands. He is gonna go for V race. It's like 110,000. Really like this. Jason really wants the initiative. He blocks a lot of really strong hands. It's way less likely somebody has ace king, ace queen, or kings or queens. No yeah, no more racing. The sword and the jack is really funny. The jack is just like this. <laughs> Greenwood has a suited ace jack. Misread the, the board. Who won the tournament today? Uh, yeah. Here, right? No? David, David. David, Peter. Hmm? Makes the call, so we're gonna see a flop. Both hands are absolutely live. Greenwood with a small edge. Oh, and that's an action board. Jason Kuhn with two over cards and an open and a straight draw. Sam Greenwood, top pair, top kicker. Jason Kuhn has 378,000 behind. There's already 250,000 in the middle. Do they stream this on Twitch? No. No streaming now. But the tournament is on Twitch. Jason going to be very pleased with this flop. Gozalan gets a quick call. After that quick call, he's going to be happy to see that his king and queen is live. Look at those outs. How many times do you want to run it? We're almost flipping here. How many times do you want to run it? Uh, twice. Two times. Two times. Yeah. Okay. I feel like Jason is going to win this one. Twice. One of them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, at least one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one. There it All is. Right. Good start. Such a nice it's feeling nice when you're winning the first round and you're like, yeah, I agree. I really care about the second one. It's already oh, good. I really care. I still really care about the second one. <laughs> yeah, but I like, don't really care about you, the second one, says Makita. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying is, you know, you feel relieved, like, after the first oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. Chop it up. After the five of clubs, I was already thinking about how it was, like, free rolling, and we got, this first, just, we got this first one in the bag. Just such a nice feeling when you're, like, relieved and not going to be too much disappointed. I guess I would really like to be, jo like, uh, chopping in general. Like, <laughs> good thing I asked. Yeah, Tom! That's right, I would have just run it once. <laughs> yeah. So I had that crazy hand with. Uh, Small blind straight up. Like two, three years ago. With, uh, <laughs> with what? Mouth Small blind like straight up. Am I small blind again? Um, yes. No, not again. Everybody, one round straight up. Say one round straight up. One round straight up. On, okay. On. One round straight up. On. Everybody yeah. agree? Okay. Everybody one agree. One round straight up. Done. I'll do one round. Yeah. Okay. One round. <laughs> yeah. okay, one round. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yep. One round. One, one round. round ends oh. with Paul. Auto agree. Look how excited After everybody is. And the straddle hand just worked out so nicely for me. Yeah, we should stick to straddle hands. 
That's a cusk. You're gonna make 30,000 pocket points. Keep a lot. It's kind of annoying having Tom on the left. One of these. Uh, Both of us saying, pay me a hundred thousand dollars and I'll swap seats with you. Lucky kill of hearts. <laughs> I remember like uh, back in the Stars games, uh, there was some guys that was uh, turning off running twice with the aces. It's because they thought it's like, <laughs> it's, it's valuable, you know, it's profitable to be running it just once. Really? They want to get the opening that's another the, chance. That's the, the, that's the Victor, Victor Blom theory. <laughs> he would always turn it off with aces and then turn it back on for everything else. Yeah. Is it true that's though? so genius. <laughs> it's just How did I know? Another sign of a fucking degenerate. Except for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, degenerate with aces. <laughs> <clears throat> Tony's in the straddle with fours. Every time you lose, every time you run and watch and lose, you're like, oh, I probably would have just probably won half the pod. Like, when you lose the first run out with aces, you're probably well, like 90% on the second run out of uh, I mean, it depends yeah. on the end of the answer or whatever. Things got really spicier when there is like uh, one out or something, you know, and you like putting in and running it twice, so you're not having a shot to win it. Yeah, most times. Mm. Oh, so Tom's one falls the ace and offsuits from small blinds. I'm gonna give Elton some credit here. Elton commenting that it's annoying to have Tom to his left, so it's gonna make a mm. pretty aggressive open on the button. Great flop for Antonius. Pocket pairs are excellent in these deep, aggressive cash games. Life becomes much easier when you flop a set. Elton turns a gut shot with it, decides to check it back. Tony's really looking for another bet from Elton. Like that the queen hit him. Like good. Reading for you. They don't put the pressure on. I don't think it was like a way to scan that shit. But like it was just a near. Oh, well, as much as you can get. No, that's me. Is there any new one? Nah. Say you want to scan that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean the thing is, kill you know, it's impossible. Ball, it's nice. <laughs> Some always in the way. Too many cards in a deck, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Probably do a few things. It never happens. Yeah, but it wasn't. You got a few things you want to do? I wasn't sure there's too much you could do in terms of, uh... Oh, yeah. She opens it up, 10-9 suited. It's a really bad start, but just a bit cooler for him. Not so long after sitting down. It's not how you want to start a million dollar buy in cash game. He's used to the high stakes though. So rebuff for a million dollars. not bet. <laughs> Always bet, bet. <laughs> bet. <laughs> I had a hand to open with. 
<laughs> you have a showdown hand. At <laughs> least you're not calling anything on the river. Huh? I'm actually calling call you nah. down the river. Nobody calls me on the river. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Reiner certainly doesn't. I was about to make that call. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most absurd fucking fold. Did you ever see this fold this kid made, this Reiner Kempe? <laughs> yeah. This kid fucking folded the nut flush to Patrick. Patrick had stone air balls. It, was, was, it got him off, to get this kid off the nut flush. I was gonna on say. A, like a paired board in a spot where, I mean, that was an insane hand for sure. Yeah. I was gonna say I didn't feel it was appropriate to bring it up, you know? <laughs> nah, I mean, he's, he's got a good there sense. Were, there were three possible hands I could have to beat him. King Jack, Jack Nine, Jack Eight, but kind of unlikely to have one of those hands. Especially if you have top four. <laughs> I was in a big blind and I just started. To, you just fucking I banged it three off. Bullets, but you just bet three times? You didn't even check raise or something? I bet, bet, bet. But yeah, I bet he like bet a flush draw board. board. I bet. The flush comes in on the turn unpaired. He bets. Uh, Reiner calls in position, then the board pairs on the river, and Patrick bets like 150% pot, and he folds enough for it. <laughs> At the final table of uh, Super High Roll Super World, World Macau. Oh, wow. If that wasn't the best bluff this year, <laughs> what was the best that was good the, bluff? Uh, no, the seven if I made the guy fold the nut plus. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the seven deuce bluff in, uh, in Monaco. Mm. Did you think he has something good? That's the best bluff of the year. I just, you know, just like I, just, fold him I just felt like he was going to fold the nut flush. He so he was going to bet it all. Because, I mean, it doesn't feel as good if you're like, oh, I think he has shit. Let me make him fold. And then he no, obviously, I knew, he had, yeah. I knew he had a decent like, hand, obviously. This guy's not like calling me no matter what. And then he pulls the nut flush. You're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I totally understand Reiner's predicament. It was a crazy hand, but it was, it was an insane fold. Yeah, that was... So Actually, Vajikowski gets another eight high outs. Seven, the seven deuce hands the block of the year, though. Yeah. Who's that? What is that? Oh, man. That, that, that was, was a legendary hand. It was, was like some satellite winner makes a yeah. final table of uh, EPT Monte Carlo this year. Oh. That dude. That was, he's three bet he small like blind against... the craziest bluff. Small yeah. blind against cutoff, right? Cut off, yeah. Three bet small blind against cutoff. Black seven deuce or something. It comes queen jack, four all diamonds. He's got black seven deuce. Sounds like... What was the flop? It was like yeah, queen, like four, queen, all diamonds yeah, something something. queen, jack, eight or something. Yeah, this guy's all, got all ace diamonds. of diamonds, yeah. king. Ace of diamonds, king. This guy's got. Dude, bets the flop. Guy calls, turns a brick, and he just shoves for pop. And the guy folds ace king with the ace of diamonds, and he just whips black seven deuce and, and his starts face. running around the room, huh? Yeah. And this is a guy that satellited in for like five bucks. Had to be the oh, biggest. Oh, the guy with that. Yeah, yeah, had to be the biggest money he's ever play will ever play for in his life. And he's just like Asian guy. No, 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 the strong. And he was from Hungary. Yeah, a Hungarian dude. Also, imagine how he was feeling after the bluff. Oh, that's crazy. crazy. He also yeah. was playing like a lunatic. <laughs> the hormones in his body. Yeah, was he? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Like you can, like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, you can have a fold with anyone. Yeah. Or if you want to, <laughs> you shove the flop, but. That was a suicide spot. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a one, that was suicide it. Suicide spots where you get the full or the greatest. <laughs> I don't know how you can ever think of, I mean, if you have any sense, oh, that to guy. make anyone to fold after he caused the turn on that board. Oh, he was just, not he was just there for too fun. Too many hands. That guy doesn't really ever poker. That, dude, yeah, that like, you can make seven deuce fold. Oh yeah, the seven deuce dude. He was straight up just there for fun. He'd like I don't think he'd ever played poker before. I would say he was like waving to people and shit, like in the middle of hands. He'd like three bet people and just be like standing up, waving at people, and then like pooping all in. It was pretty incredible. How would he do? He busted shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he still made like 400 or something. Yeah, 400. It was like, like, could couldn't beat one cent, two cent online. No way. We have it. He's gonna get called on that spot at least 90 percent of the time. <laughs> at least, I mean, it could be 95. Diamonds king. The way the hand went, like. 
Yeah, that was crazy. Unless the guy is like floating in. He's going to have like a hand to... Just has a flush him on. You know. See you later. He did a really good did. check there from Sam Greenwood. Yeah, I mean, Ace King with Ace of Diamonds is like insanely wow. strong hand in this hmm? spot. That's a flush. That's five spades. That's five spades, right? Yes. <laughs> You win. Okay. You win. <laughs> ah, you see now. But you got to flush. Always bit, bit, bit. I just had to get the jacket first. But I, I think yeah, I saw I, this I, other I like idea. <laughs> uh, video on like this guy who was on the final table or something. And he, he was like, he was like bluffing with like two six or something, and then somebody went all in and he like snap called it with like nothing. I don't know if you guys saw that one. And that was to put... He like the best the hand or what? Bluff. <laughs> no, he, he, was just, he was just like a fish or something. He just called it off dead? He called it off completely drawing dead. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, he like snap called. Like he was a, I think like he three bet pre and it was like, it was like the final hand of the, the tournament too. I don't know how big that tournament was, but... We need more info. At least recorded. No, it was... Yeah, wow. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't Sometimes know how... Guys, there needs to be like a hand bloopers, like a, a highlight reel of craziest hands. I, they made one for Vanessa Stubbs. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> like the recent one? There is one for Vanessa Stubbs. Back, back made it. It's yeah, great. Honestly, that, that hand doesn't There's even like that There's an incredible Vanessa Stubbs hand. The hand the Jack 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 busting the main event. It's a new one. So She's gotten better. She like check raised the queen high board with jack nine off, not like queen eight or queen ten, just queen like queen six three. Or no, something. she did jack yeah. eight. Jack eight. Jack, jack eight, eight on what was it? Like queen seven three. She didn't. Eight. She didn't even have the. Let's start um, preflop though. Preflop's good too. She didn't even have like uh whatever. The, no, no, the outs to the to an open end though. Yeah. yeah. Like not that that's like a huge deal, but she. Yeah. Well, whatever. She got called and then shoved the turn, and the guy like got under. Sorry, we and she shoved the turn. Huh? The guy got not plus, right? No, the guy, this guy, this is the spot. The guy just has ace queen on a queen high board, three bet, cold four bet spot, I think. Yeah. yeah. She's three bet and cold four bet with check eight outs. Yeah. Then check raised uh, queen That's high, and then shoved the turn, and the guy had ace queen and call, and call instantly. Yeah, so for me, my favorite here. hand is uh, the one I played in 2006. Oh, the and hair so blown in the wind, the Ryan Dowd hand. Yeah, that was. It was ten years ago, but it's still like my favorite. That's hand. the best hand ever. Puts his head down mm -hmm. on his arm, then goes, I'm off. Like, raise. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so awesome. That would be even even cooler if the guy had like a strong hand or something. Yeah. Fortunately, he had a bluff. Yeah. So, Paul, we raised yeah, Tom. No, he's going to bet 120,000. Like midway through the thought process, that doubt didn't have anything. And then he went all in, which was kind of cool, you know? Yeah. It's flopped like Tom. <laughs> Good shot, mixed top pair, decent kicker. But it's probably a board that he doesn't expect Paul to bet a whole lot when he has ace king or ace queen. When was it? In one drop. One drop this year. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Like three bet tens, it came king jack, something set up at the flop and then bet the turn and Kristoff. Kristoff, like over, or uh, called the open and then called the squeeze. There it is. Out of the queens. With the queens. And the board was king jack three, side L bet tens on the flop. Christoph called, the term was like a brick, and Saddle Barrel was a block, and Christoph pulled the queen. King Jack Pen 3 something? Queen oh. Jack, King, King Jack 3. Wow, but it's okay. interesting. Yeah. Lots of equity, huh? Lots of fold equity. Mm -hmm. Lots of fold equity. I'm not, yeah, even sure I'm not even sure that's true. I'm not even sure that's true. Tom makes a straight. Paul can't be happy happy about this Love turn. This is the one card that you're thinking of. No 10, no 10, no 10. I think Poker Show has also had lots of interesting hands. Yeah, yeah. Like, and there was so many really cool table talks. Yeah, for sure. That was the best Poker Show ever. I remember him hand between uh, Farha and uh, Jamie Gold. All oh, that. Course. Yeah, that bullshit. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Anyone ever seen the one where I got blocked? I'm thinking about leading here. Oh, I think I did see you that. You must have seen that. Yeah, I think I did see that. But it was a spot where the guy could never have a set. It's 280,000. That's a Three really big bet. It's gotta have Paul worried. Yeah. That was crazy. I got bluffed. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, he was right. Probably yeah, not two guys at the table that have played as much as Tom and Paul 
against each other over the past years. Looks like he's gonna make the call. There's definitely some history going on here. Paul makes the call. It's nine hundred thousand dollars in the pot right now. Paul needs a queen and a queen only. Great bet by Tom on the turn. Went for a really big bet, but it worked. And like I said, these guys have tons of history playing each other. to pretend like he gave up a bluff. I think that Paul will go for it when Paul oh, has had like ace king of clubs. Maybe even had like ace nine or ace ten of clubs. Paul checks, gets the bad news. Really interesting play there from Tom. Little bit, Riva. Waiting for you. Waiting for you, oh, yeah. Clubs. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had clubs. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> if you want some little pot the there for oh, Tom. Can you uh, an ice cream, please? I got a lot. Yeah, the zombie. It's not gonna be ah, nice. on TV. After this, I'm, I'm yeah. going to short deck where I can actually <laughs> maybe win some money there. Thank you. Um, Piano Only if I didn't bluff today, I think I'd be up a lot. Right, the peak uh, both like good and also like shockingly cheap. Oh, I mean for like you know the place too. I mean, I'm comes in, gets really annoying. Bezhikowski unknowingly always fires a lot of shots. Like he talks about fast hands, and like he said there. Hey, you want a drink or something to eat? It's the least I can offer you when I want a million dollars against you. Oh, hey, thanks for reminding me. We saw this in one of the tournaments, too. It's really funny. Because he's so good-natured and friendly, but... At the borderline defending range. <laughs> oh, Dominic defend. <laughs> in the tournament. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get bluffed. I know your tricks now, Paul. I <laughs> said. <laughs> so another big pot for Tom is up about six hundred thousand dollars. Great start to his cash game adventure this evening. Bachikowski with aces again. There's a straddle out. Always increases the action. Gonna start it with thirty thousand dollars. Quick pulls from everybody though. I'm gonna defend with a suited queen. Also, that money in the middle, the three blinds in there. Means there's more to fight for, you can play more hands. Can I have the. Thousand dollar bet once more. Can you show the flop again? This is Jack Spade, okay? 
Can I have the fruit? Jack A5? But no, no flux. Two flux. Right? No flux there. Yes. Yeah. There was no flux there. It was very funny. <laughs> I had two cloves, and then, I mean, I looked at the flop three times to make sure, but then when they were flipping it over, the colors looked the same, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Montenegro, they were they had a short deck and played for like four hours the full deck. <laughs> they were just coolering the shit out of each other and they didn't know that they were playing with a short deck for like three or four hours. No. They were yeah. they were assuming that they play in a cool deck? Full deck, yes. yeah, but they were awesome. only playing That's with thirty six so cards and just cooling three hours. the shit out of each other. Like, three or four hours, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> and uh flash plus two or four hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul, I like the weed. <laughs> oh, we should do that to random tables throughout the main event. Yeah. Just <laughs> strip decks and just people <laughs> all in every hand. Richard, we're actually telling <laughs> about uh, <laughs> tournaments that mix short deck and full deck for the next time. Like, wow. That's going to be amazing. You could yes, so you easily uh, just like, like towel. Or like, you know, they would just look at the deck. It would be like change the game the every, I don't know, every, every level. Hours. Two hours, one, two hours, another game, two hours. Another massive hand for Bajakowski. Or maybe even, who knows, one round reach. Yeah. What are you going to try? A spike that is set really there. Sick. But it's such a different game though. It's like... <coughs> Experimenting. Yeah. You're going to be playing so good, and then just get into the short deck rounds, you just... <laughs> run so bad, you know? Yeah, that's now. exactly what's gonna happen. People are gonna sit there and play so tight, and then they're just gonna bust and short deck in like two hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm playing so good, you know? Yeah. Fuck the nuts. What am I gonna do? Full? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it. Would, I don't think it would be a good tournament at all. Huh? I don't think it would be a good tournament to have a half and a half. Because no limit full deck part would just be like people's chip stacks would stay the same, and then they'd just be all in. Yeah. Good flop for Bajakowski here. Ball is a small piece of it. I don't think that'll work. Two over no. cards though. The problem here when you have a six is that even oh. if somebody has ace queen, it's they mine. have that straight draw or gut shot as well. Yep. Uh, can't. That is Dominic seven. Going for another bet. Want some protection for his queens as well? Oh, uh, yeah, if I'm not playing cash game, definitely. We're busy with cash games. There's just a short deck game, apparently. Big one. Yeah, I figured you were busy. Yeah. I wish I wouldn't have been busy last night. Yeah. And before I did good. I'm trying to get away from you. They kicked the stakes out. They doubled the stakes out. How are you doing? How are you doing? No. 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 You were saying about like uh, short deck and full deck max, you, you should just make it uh, like the equal in, in terms of blinds. So you could make either the same uh, like blind structure for a full deck that came from a short deck, or you could just make it uh, same default. The only thing about short deck is it's just a shorter game in general, you know, like you're playing 100 antis. <laughs> and it's obviously not com not comparable to like 100 BB. But if you, if you will compare it like 200 antis and 40 big blinds, it's gonna be pretty much the same speed or something. Yeah. Or at least the difference is not going to be too too big. So apparently Richard Young mentioned there might be a Triton Holm, No Limit Holm mixed event. Players discussing how that could work because Triton Holm is so volatile and swingy that it might end up people's stacks don't really move in No Limit Holm and all of a sudden you answer a blind level wall where all the craziness happens.
<laughs> Big three by Alton here after Greenwood opens with the deuces. Definitely see the race sizes go up when stacks get this deep. Considering if he can feel here to try and flop a deuce. You're a million dollar a million dollars deep effectively. I was I was starting to say a million dollars and I was like, wait, that can't be right, but yes. Easy to forget. These guys are a million dollars deep. Looks like he is making the call. This can be a very tough hand to play. Uh, yeah, More often than not, there will be an overcard on the board. Yeah. Not this time, but there is a deuce. Set of deuces for Greenwood. Elton Sang drawing very slim here. But he is going to feel really good about this board at the same time. So. Triton, Vancouver, Canada. A bunch of Chinese people live in Vancouver. Yeah. You bet 100,000. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Sam is going to make the call. I'm going to raise. It's also a big chance that. Elton still has over cards. He doesn't want to push those out. Full house now. Check, check. Great check there by Elton. That's a really good check. Very safe board for 10 still. Maybe he's suspecting something. Greenwood's gonna feel incredible about his hand here. It's 200,000. This is an incredibly tough spot. Once more for Elton. How things have turned around for him. Couldn't lose a hand, made great plays as well. I still really respect the big bluff, but. We were just waiting for you. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, he makes the call. Very tough to fold that river after you showed or faked weakness on the turn. Only full house. Yeah, tough spot there. Seven hundred thousand dollar pot for Greenwood. I'm out. Yeah, Elton's over. Can't blame him. Bye. Bye. 